Welcome to Destined Nation. I'm Pastor Jadel, and this is Monday Messengers. So, ambassadors of Christ, let us worship the Lord. Joyful, joyful. Joyful, joyful, we adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before you, opening to the sun. Clouds of sin and sadness drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of eternal gladness, fill us with the light. Welcome back to Teens in Tune. I am Pastora Cristel and once again, we have another song feature for you that is definitely Bible-based and the singers are solid Christians. For today's episode, that is the song You Will Remain by Anthony Evans. Evans is born in Dallas, Texas and he is the son of Dr. Tony Evans and Lois Evans. His father is a Christian radio personality and also the senior pastor of their church. And that church is where he learned music at an early age. To date, he has released 11 albums including his latest. The song You Will Remain talks about the consistency of our God. And because of this, we can trust Him and no longer be afraid in whatever situation we are facing right now. Pandemic, we are safe in his shelter are you sick in your body you are healed in jesus name amen and many more promises you know what teens there are many promises in the bible that you can claim and when god says that he has a wonderful future for you that remains true and nothing can ever change that amen 
Numbers 23 verse 19 says, God is not man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. He has said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, or, and will he not fulfill it? Let us listen to this song. A thousand before, I'll keep standing the storm rages on. I'm covered by you when life brings pain. You are my refuge, I'm safe. Though everything's changed, you will remain. You will remain. You will remain when life it changes. You will remain. You will remain. You will remain. I hope you like our song feature for today. That is You Will Remain by Anthony Evans. Definitely, we can trust that God will remain. Amen. You can check it out on our Spotify playlist entitled Destination Teens in Tune. Always remember, teens, that it is important that we choose the songs that we listen to. Let God's word always be our standard in everything. You are destined for Christ. God bless you. Hi, teens. I'm Pastor Dudel and this is Compass. Today is Monday Messengers, so we are going to talk about carrying the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ as an ambassador of Him in this world. So for today, let's talk about our hearts. In Proverbs 4 verse 23, it says here, Guard your heart with all diligence, for from it flows springs of life. And we want springs of life to flow from our hearts, that right? Yes. To guard here means to keep watch, to observe, or to secure. So if we are going to be a messenger of the Lord Jesus Christ, then we must fill our hearts with Jesus. In Luke chapter 6, verse 45, it says here, The good man brings good things out of the good treasure of his heart. And the evil man brings evil things out of the evil treasure of his heart. For out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. Have you ever heard a person who keeps on saying evil things? While have you ever heard a person who keeps on saying good things? The Bible is very clear. Good things flow out of the good treasure from the heart. And evil things flow out of the evil treasure from the heart. So as you can see, from your heart comes the words of your mouth. So how do you get to know the contents of the heart of a man? Listen to their words. Now, the Bible speaks of guarding our heart with all diligence. That means this is something that we do every step of the way. That we make a decision not to fill our hearts with bad things because it's always going to come out. But to always guard it and make sure that we have a good treasure of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ in our hearts, of good things alone, so that good things will always come out of our mouth. In Proverbs 23 verse 19, it says here, Listen, my son, and be wise, and guide your heart on the right course. Now, our hearts must also be guided to the right course, so that from it comes righteous things. No, We must guide it at all times to the right course or to the right path. And also, we make an everyday decision to fill it up with the Word of God. Joshua 1 verse 8, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Now, the Word of God also commanded us to always have the Bible or the law of the Lord in our lips. But how will it be in our lips? First, we have to put it deep within our hearts. Your daily devotions matter, especially if you want to become a messenger of the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to fill your heart with the good news first, with the word of God first, with the presence of God first. Then it's going to come out of your mouth as the abundance of your heart. Now, the apostles from the book of Acts were in, they started going out and telling people about this good news. Have this as an example for us. In Acts chapter 5, verse 42, it says here, Every day in the temple courts and from house to house, they did not stop teaching 
and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Christ. It's an everyday thing that they do. And for sure, everything they have to put inside their heart the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. They have to read the scripture and make sure that they are convinced deep within them about this truth that they are teaching daily. And also we can see in Acts 10 36, he has sent this message to the people of Israel proclaiming the gospel of peace through Jesus Christ who is Lord of all. Now they have to fill their hearts with the truth who Jesus is in their lives. It says here, Jesus is the Lord of all. Jesus Christ brings the gospel of peace. Jesus Christ is the good news for them. And they have to be convinced and they have to have that in their hearts so that they are able to proclaim who He is in their lives. And last but not the least, I want to share with you Colossians 3 verse 16. It says here, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in Psalms, and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the lord now we must let our hearts be filled with the word of god richly so that it will be the abundance of our mouth listen to the words that you say daily if you want to become an ambassador of christ jesus then fill your heart with the truths about christ jesus fill your heart with the word of god so that it will be the overflow or the abundance of your heart. Let us win this generation for Jesus. Let us proclaim the good news and the gospel of peace into all the world. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are so thankful and grateful for this time and opportunity that we can learn the Word of God. Lord, right now, we thank you that you will help us, give us open doors of opportunities to proclaim the good news of the gospel. Lord God, to everybody, the gospel of peace, the gospel that brings us closer to you, the gospel that gives us salvation. And we thank you, God, that you will help us to proclaim it. God, help us to guard our hearts that everything that will be dwelling in it is the word of God and the truth about you, that it will be the abundance of our mouth. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We bless your name and we thank you for your faithfulness. I commit the teens to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, teens, for being here with us at Destination. See you again tomorrow at 5 o'clock.